Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is 24K signing in. With me is my friend Danny or TB Tomboy. <laughs> tomboy, okay. Yeah, I guess you can see he's a Tampa Bay fan or a Tomboy fan. I guess uh, he likes the Rays. I think they won today, didn't they? They did. They beat Boston. They swept them. I'm happy. Boston's I didn't, I didn't on see a... the game, so I can't tell tell what happened. But um, did Evan Longoria get a home run? Yes, sir, he did. And Boston's That's on my a... man. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. He's probably the best player he's in the race. my favorite player. And Boston's on a 10-game losing streak. Well, the 2013 World Series champions is on a 13-game losing streak. I can't believe that. I mean, it's still only May. Yeah, it's late May. And obviously, of course, any time a team loses 10 games in a row, that's bad. That's never a good thing. But the thing is, is that as much as I don't like the Red Sox, as you can tell, I'm a Yankee fan. He's a Rays fan. You can never count them out. They could uh, regain their momentum and, you know, charge right back into into the race. Yeah. But they need to start playing better. And But being a Yankee fan, I am happy to see the Red Sox lose 10 in a row. I'm not a Rays fan by any means, but if I had to choose Rays or Red Sox, I choose the Rays over the Red Sox yeah. in most situations. And, hey, it's still early on in the season, so a lot can still happen between the next four months. I mean, look at look at the Rays. I mean, for uh, for a while they were in last place on the American League East. Now they're um, now they're second to last, or uh, head, head of the Red Sox. Very but, true. They're climbing out of the basement. The Red Sox are in the basement right now, and we'll see if any teams let them out of the basement. But yeah. Plus, they got Alex Cobb back from the disabled list. He's he's back back pitching, and he uh, he threw a lot of good pitches on Thursday night games. His first day back. And didn't they have a couple walk offs? Yeah, I think a few they days did. Ago? I don't I don't get to see the games because um, I don't have the have the channels and this is New York but I see a lot of the highlights on Facebook because I like them on Facebook or MLB but I prefer Facebook. No one likes me on Facebook. I'm not that likable. So normally I I tell you to like me, but in this case I'm not telling people to like me because don't like me on Facebook. Unless if you want to. Well, I guess in a weird roundabout way, I guess I'm telling people to like me. But mainly, don't like me on Facebook. I don't know. I'm confusing. I, 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 I'm not making any sense right now. So what's that guy's name? Alex Corn on the Cobb? <laughs> Is that his nickname? I guess if you want to you wanna say something like that, that would make sense. He's I a mean, his last picture. name is Cobb. Corn on the Cobb or just, uh, just Cobb short for Cobblestone, whatever. I wonder I if know. he's related to Ty Cobb. Probably not, but, you know, okay. It is kind of a common name. Plus... I work with somebody by last name Cobb, so I'm sure he's definitely not related. They don't look alike in one bit, you know. All right, but, I don't, I'm not making much sense, but that's okay. We're having fun, and he's, uh, he's just being random. He's a goof. I am a goofball. So are you? Or actually, I'm, or I'm goofier. Actually, I'm not necessarily a goofball. I'm a goof triangle. <laughs> goof triangle? What the hey? I can make myself. That's my superpower. I can make myself into a triangle. I can make myself into a square with a circle in the center, just like a belly button. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Whenever there's an emergency for that, I'll call you. Okay. I can't think of a situation, but there might be. But can I call you if there's an emergency? Um, only between 5 and 5.02 a.m., on every odd Tuesday of every odd month of every odd year. I mean, I'm still in bed at that time. That's that's not enough. I need I need to talk to you longer if there's an emergency. Come on. I don't like talking. Minutes. Uh, I'm antisocial. I don't like talking. That's why I'm making this video because I don't like talking. At around five o'clock in the morning, I'm still in REM mode. Oh, the band? Yeah, that was a good band, are you? <laughs> I'm talking about me being in a deep sleep, dreaming. I once was in a deep sleep. I didn't wake up for 28 years. I'd like to make myself believe that planet, planet Earth, Earth turns, turns slowly. slowly. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. asleep. Cause the dreams are never as it seems, seems as I fall asleep. Well, that's a very catchy tune after all these years. That's um, that's one of the only songs that the singing groups 
They like who sings that song again? Owl, Owl City. City. Yeah. How come I couldn't think of it? Because I think of the Probably things here. I'm the braids. Probably so are you. Too, You're smart too. It was too, too long yeah. for me to remember. I mean, that song is how old? Five years. Five years old, and I like too many other new songs now to come to think of it. I'm anti-music. I don't like listening to music. I don't like singing songs. I'm against it. Ah, don't worry, he's just goofing. You know him. No, I'm serious. I hate music. Row, row, row your boat gently down the... I don't like singing stream. Well, well, if you're right. against music, you wonder what I'm against with? I'm against television. <laughs> what? Yeah, I only watch YouTube videos. I'm on, on computers. I don't watch big screens. I just watch television on my computer screen. I'm anti-internet. Well, if you're anti-internet, what what am I anti? Am I anti... Let's say... Orange I, juice. Anti-iPhone? Because I don't have an iPhone? Because I don't have an iPhone, so... I'm... You're anti-orange juice. Even though the Rays play in Tropicana Field. See what I did there? So no. that means you're anti-rays if you're anti-orange juice. I am I am not anti-orange juice because I love orange juice for that for that whole reason. Orange mm. juice is pretty good, but except for the pulp, pulp is what's bad. The pope? The pulp. Pulp. P -L -P. Oh, I thought you I thought you said the pope. The pope. What do you think I'm from a different country? Yeah, I think you're from Cleveland. Cleveland's a city in Ohio. I know. I... Oh, wow. Well. If, if I were from Cleveland, I'd be wearing a Cleveland's Indian hat on, not a Tampa Bay race You're hat. an Indians fan now? Wow, cool. Awesome. No, I said if I were from Cleveland, I'd be wearing an Indian's hat and not a Tampa Bay Rays hat. I'm a big Browns fan. I'm not from Tampa, but I go down there every year and see a baseball game. What can Brown do for you? I like the Cleveland Browns. They just got Menzel. Oh. Then you like... Uh, then you like Cleveland Brown, Peter Griffin's friend. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He used to be a pro proprietor of the Delicatessen. Then they took him off the show when he uh, started his own sh own television show and his whole new family. Whole new family. Yeah, he got he got remarried. Remember? I don't remember. Where were you? It, it's been going on since two thousand and nine. I was in the Gulf of Mexico at the time. Show. Fishing. Bonitas? Did you catch any bonita fish? No, but I caught a bass. That's it? Yeah, pretty much. I threw them back. Did I went home? Were they big basses? Should I call them sea bass? They were lance bass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what lance bass was doing in the Gulf of Mexico, but he was doing something. <laughs> Probably scuba diving. <laughs> Anyways, anything new going on with you? Let's hey, go raise. Let's go raise? Okay, but I mean, anything exciting in the life of Danny? Same old, same old, just playing it low-key. Making the money, paying the bills? Yep, surviving. That's what you gotta do. Well, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to announce to you, now that we're eight and a half minutes into this video, to uh, feel free to subscribe to me because... The more subscribers I get, the more happy I get. You ask Pharrell Williams. That song makes me happy. And the sub more subscribers I get makes me happier. So he's happy club along. I'm going to be clapping along a lot. For every subscriber I get, I'm going to be clapping. So if you want to, in future videos, if you want to see me clap a lot, I'll clap a lot. Clap for along if you feel like happiness is the truth because I'm happy. <laughs> Bring me clap down. Along and if you Bring me down. And um. Clap along if you feel the need to subscribe to me. I don't know why you would want to feel the need to subscribe to me. I'm not really promoting because myself very happy. well. But seriously, I'm a funny guy. At least I've been to that. To not toad. Told that at least <laughs> twice in my life. Once by by me, I told myself that, and uh, some random guy in the street, um, you know, trying to hitchhike, told me that uh, I was funny. Um, but yeah, aside from that, now to 
most people don't find me funny. And if you don't find me funny, that's fine. I don't care. Whatever. We're I'm just having a fun time. But if you have if you find me funny and you feel the need to click a button, the subscribe button on the screen, go for it. I mean, nothing bad could happen from it aside the fact from the fact that you may find me annoying. But hopefully you find me somewhat funny. If you do, subscribe and. Like I said, I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to make future videos of me clapping. And for every subscriber I get, I'm going to clap. And I have 16 subscribers right now, so I'm going to clap 16 times. Woohoo! Cheers to Alex! 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, that was pointless, but it was fun. Hey. So, yeah, I want to give keep people more reasons to clap along because I want to make people happy. Yeah, clap along with a little shake and bake. I thought we were we were retiring that little weird phrase from Talladega Nights. I'm bringing it back. Bringing what back? The shake and bake. Uh-oh, look out, people. It's bringing the shape and... Sh not shake. shape and bake. Shake, shake and, bake. and bake. I can't talk tonight. I'm sorry. It's... I play basketball today, uh, got a little sunburn, yeah, played some wiffle ball, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, the only thing is, there was, when I was at that, and I couldn't even score any runs. What? You scored 15, no, you scored 16 runs. Yeah, I did, that was, um, that was on one of my turns when I was up, it was the second to last, it was, I had third, I scored seven on one, and then the next time I was up, I didn't score any. And you had some home runs. Too, and uh, we played with another friend of ours, and he kept hitting him with the wiffle ball, and he kept getting hit by the pitch. <laughs> yeah. And who what? was who was hitting him with all those wiffle balls? Hmm. Who could that be? Huh? Was it him? I don't know. Who was what? Who was hitting him with all the wiffle balls? <laughs> I hit a couple. I got a grand slam actually. And don't worry, we were we were all tested before the game. We all came out clean. None of us had steroids or PEDs in our system. So it was a clean game. Good clean game. Yeah. And the two of us, we tied with 16. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't have time to finish, but maybe next time we'll uh, finish up the game and uh, see who wins once and for all. Because, yeah, we didn't lose, but we didn't win. We, we ended up tying for some reason. Which I can't believe, but we tied. We had fun. I didn't. Weather. The weather was nice, too. It wasn't. It was a hurricane. Baloney. I, I caught baloney on that BS sandwich. This is in August 2011, you know. No, but seriously, I didn't have fun. The weather was bad. My friends aren't nice. They were mean. Well, um... I'm just a grumpy old man. Alex, are you lying? <laughs> do lions do make do lions make that noise? No, but seriously, I did have fun. I don't know what kind of noise lions make. I'm weird. Because I had a blast, let me tell you that. Sixteen sixteen runs. I'll go with it. Pretty good stuff. I can remember times when the Yank or not the Yankees, the Rays. They scored sixteen runs when they played the Yankees back on Easter weekend. Oh, that was quite the game. What did the Yankees player say to Tampa Bay? What did they say? The greedy Yankees player say to Tampa Bay. What did they say? I need a raise! <laughs> I just made that up. Anyways, you have any final thoughts before we head out for the evening? I approve this message, and let's go raise. Uh, let's go Yankees, and uh, let's not go raise. All right. I'm glad that they beat let's, the Red Sox, though. Let's not go Yankees, because you said let's not go Rays. All right. He approves. Thanks for watching. So Subscribe to me, and I'll clap along, because I'm happy. And feel free to follow me on Twitter, AlexGold14. Do you have a Twitter? No, nope, no Twitter. He's cooler than me. All right. Thanks for watching.